Ken Haddad, you know him as the head of ClickOnDetroit.com and apparently also a very esteemed mushroom hunter here in Michigan because his story on finding the best place for morels is off the charts today. Ken, Hello. I mean, it's a story for a Friday. It is. I'm very well known in the community as a mushroom hunter. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I've never foraged myself, but uh, it is a really popular activity for people in Michigan and the elusive morel mushroom is the top top get for a mushroom forager in the state. So yeah. this is like a, a big time for that. I mean, when you drive up north and there are certain areas that, I mean, they have hotels and motels surrounding the entire hunt because there's certain areas that are just really good for growing morels. And morels are super tasty if you are a mushroom fan. And I know that feels like mushrooms are slightly polarizing, Ken. They are, but if you don't like mushrooms, like I don't know what's going on with you. You need to you need to look at yourself in the mirror. It's probably I think it's a consistency thing. It's like it totally is. Yeah, exactly. we're getting looks already in the newsroom. Yeah, just for saying that. But um, yeah, so if you're looking for the morel mushroom, uh, the best place to go is a place that had recently had a wildfire or a prescribed burn. So that's what the Michigan DNR uh, map shows. Mm -hmm. It's telling you where there have recently been wildfires, prescribed burns. Those are where morel mushrooms tend to thrive. Mm -hmm. They tend to appear in the same areas over and over again. So it's kind of like if you find a morel mushroom, yeah, maybe you you're not telling spot, everyone. Exactly. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> um, but I will say the DNR specifically says prepare to be disappointed <laughs> uh, because they are really hard to find. It's, it's not it's not like um, you know everyone's coming across them. Even if you go to some of these areas, you may not see them. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody may have beaten you to them as well. Uh, but it, they're going to be hard to find. So, you know, just enjoy the journey. You know, don't don't put too much pressure on yourself to find them if you can't. And if you do find them, please let us know because Christy and I would love to put them in a pasta. I mean, I'm a huge fan of morels. I have a um, I have a mushroom risotto that uses morels, and I can usually only find I usually have just dried morels that you have to like bring back to life in boiling water. Yeah. But this is really special but a lot of like morale hunters are very superstitious too and they don't like to share it's kind of like a quiet you know a quiet hunt but also families do this together as well through generations yeah it's a super fun activity I mean you're like hanging out in the woods you're looking at you know <laughs> I don't know tree stumps I don't know like old logs on the floor Ken, we gotta get you out there, <laughs> yeah man. honestly like I haven't left this newsroom in 20 years so I'm not really <laughs> sure what's going on out there but if, if anyone can find a morale mushroom please tell us we're starving exactly um, as, and as Ken and I like to say we talked about earlier a soft really clings to a morel so if you want to just loves uh, a morel. Sa saute it up with a little sauce it's just <laughs> it's, it's just very very good it is lunchtime around here yeah. all right Ken we'll find that on click on and if, yes and if people find morels do they want to tell us I mean can they put it can they put comments sure in yeah put it yeah yeah comment on that story and let us know if you found something and where you found it and where to meet you so we can eat them you know what Ken I can't wait to see what expert we're gonna make you <laughs> next week and I'm gonna keep track of all of the various um, supers that we put under there like Ken Haddad it yeah. to the internet. <laughs> Ken, morale hunter. I mean, um, you know. I'm just here to serve buff. the people, Christy. That's my number one goal. Happy Friday, Ken. Thanks for being with me here on the DPL.